Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to come on and do a little quick product review and demo of these two new Sotanical shampoos. So I have the wash and comb detangling foam and I have the Sherry Burdick Butter Shampoo. So I do have clip of me using both and I guess I'll just run them as I talk about them. The first one I used was this one, the wash and comb detangling foam and I will admit I had a PJ attack when I heard about this one because I was like what detangling foam some new wonderful thing I got to try it and of course yeah the ingredients look good. I'm not a fan of Deccan Lucas side and I'm just getting more and more convinced of that but other than that it was like a lot of moisturizing ingredients so I was like really excited to try it. Water, aloe vera juice, and agave nectar, beet sugar, rasu, clay, guar gum, Irish moss. So it just looked really good. But basically, it didn't work as a detangler. So I put it in and it was going good at first. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm detangling tire. And then it suddenly kind of froze up on me and my hair started panicking. My hair was getting stripped. So I had to abort, abort, and just rinse it out immediately. And then proceed to deep conditioning. So I do think this might be nice as a regular shampoo. But it's not something that can spend 15 minutes in my hair. I just need to shampoo, rinse, and go on about my business. So that's how I'm going to use this one. My, for me, my personal recommendation is don't try to tangle with it. But if you have it, just use it as a shampoo. So I have heard some people also give good reviews of this, just using it regularly as a shampoo and not trying to tangle with it. So don't try to be a hero <laughs> like me. Just use it as a shampoo. And you know the ingredients are pretty good and it's definitely cleansing, I can say that much for it. The next one I have is the Shea Verdict Butter Shampoo. And again, I got excited with the whole butter shampoo idea. So a shampoo that was like a butter and like a solid kind of thing. Because, you know, usually shampoos are like runny, watery, liquid stuff, right? So like a butter shampoo. She knows how to get me. Like I don't know how to get me because I just love innovative, creative new things. And she just loves creating innovative, creative new things. So it's a kind of match made in PJ heaven, except my wallet may not agree. <laughs> but yeah, I tried this because it also looked interesting. And of course the ingredients also look good. I love the Ayurvedic herbs and everything. This was actually the opposite of this one, because this one was super moisturizing and conditioning. But my scalp just didn't feel cleansed. And this one, super cleansing, but too strong. So too strong and too mild for me, I guess. So I'm probably going to try and mix with them, I don't know, we'll see. But basically, I use like half the dry in one go, just trying to get it to do something and my scalp just didn't necessarily feel clean. But my first impression of this is great slip and moisture, especially for a shampoo. But it didn't really make my scalp feel as clean as I like my scalp to feel. I work out and I just want my scalp to just be singing and just happy with me at the end of the week. And Right now my scalp is still like, I don't know if I like it, I don't know if we're friends. First impression, I kind of almost want to reach for another shampoo or co-wash just to make my scalp feel cleaner but um, I don't want to push it so I'll leave it like this and maybe midweek I might co-wash if I need to or something. I think this will be better as a co-wash so I recommend using this as a co-wash if your scalp already kind of feels clean and you just want a little refresh then this will be good for that. So I did like it, my hair felt soft and moisturized and stuff. I just wish it was a little more cleansing. A little more, I don't know, usually when I use like she scented blueberry co-wash and Camille Rose caramel co-wash, my scalp feels clean after and feels soothed and my scalp doesn't feel itchy. You know, usually it's itchy when it's like dirty. So I don't know, like this just never really got there for me. I'm not usually a shea butter person either, but the shea butter, I hope it didn't affect me. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. I'm not a shea butter person. Shea butter just sticks and it's really hard to get rid of. So maybe that's why my hair didn't feel clean enough. Like this just couldn't overcome the shea butter in it. Both that look aside and shea butter are on my radar now. Well, been on my radar, you know, but are on my radar. And I have to stop PJing and just buying stuff because they look interesting. But anyways, it's like a nice fluffy whip texture. I really like the scent. It's like this really musky. It smells like a sexy Trini guy in the 90s. Like this kind of musky cologne, kind of like those in incense sticks kind of thing. But it smells really nice. So I do love the scent. And I love the texture and everything. I love the concept. I just wish that for me had cleansed my scalp a bit more. And it never formed for me either. I don't know. Maybe my hair was just too dirty or something. I didn't reapply product or anything, but 
you know, my hair had been stressed, <laughs> put it that way, with, you know, everything. I had been stressed, my hair had been stressed, so. But it did say that if you love that foamy, luxurious, and so on, conditioning and whatever. So I expected it to foam, and it didn't really foam for me. But at least it didn't strip for sure, and strengthen and nourish, I guess, you know, the Ayurvedic herbs were in there. I'm going to try the cocoa one, because I have the cocoa butter shampoo and the conditioner so I'm going to try that as a wash day video coming soon I'll let you know how that works I'm probably going to try it when my scalp isn't killing me so I'll be able to test it more as a co-wash and let you guys know so have you tried any one of them? what did you think? let me know in the comments what's your favorite shampoo? do you have a favorite Sultanicals cleanser or co-wash? let me know because I really would like to find Sultanicals cleanser and gel like you know, I'm still kind of looking for those. I like the Sultanicals DCs and even, so I'm just looking for a cleanser and gel. Thanks for watching. I really hope it was helpful to all of you guys who wanted the review. I've been getting a lot of requests for this, so I hope that finally you have it, my review. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.